I guess it's still morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time to come. Uh, I have most of my executive team uh, around me today because they all play a critical role in the lead service line replacement program and making sure that we stay in compliance and that we're delivering uh, safe water. So if there are questions that uh, come up that hit their area of expertise, I want to be able to allow them to answer that question. So we're here because um, a couple of weeks ago, I signed off as the director of DSD on a letter that went out to more than 225,000 residential homes in the city of Detroit. It was a letter that was required by EPA. EPA presented us with a template also indicated that we could not change some of the language uh, that is somewhat confusing. However, that did not stop me from adding context to that letter that would have made it better received so that people wouldn't be uh, confused by some of the terms in it. So, so that's on me. Nobody up here did that. I signed that, that letter. I should have recognized that this was going to cause angst in the community and added context to the letter so that it could have been explained. So our, our water is, is safe and some of the best water in the world. We are a leader in the United States in delivering quality water. We're below the actionable level for lead at 12 parts per billion in the most recent testing results. And every June, we put out a water quality report. This is last year's 2023 report that speaks to uh, the lead that is in the city's uh, system. Last week, the Detroit Water and Sewer Department sent notification letters to more than 200,000 residents and businesses about the type of service lines that you may have based on our latest updated records. The annual notification by mail are a new EPA federal requirement for every city in our region and across the United States. And this is the first year that that letter has gone out and we're required to send it out for the next 10 years because you have 10 years to replace all the lead service lines. The drinking water is safe and the letters do not indicate any change in the water quality in the system nor at, a, at, a, at your property. In fact, quality continues to improve as we replace lead service lines at a rapid place, pace. And we're removing more lead service lines than just about anybody in the country. This year alone, we've already spent more than a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred million dollars replacing lead service lines. And I just added 30 million more to contracts that contractors will begin this week uh, servicing, removing of lead service lines. We used the template, as I indicated, a template letter from EPA, and we apologize if the term unknown and other terms caused alarm. However, there is no alarm about our water system at this time. The water is tested frequently before it leaves one of three treatment plants operated by the Great Lakes Water Authority. There is no lead in the water distribution system. Lead is encountered in the service line. Galvanized plumbing and lead-based fixtures inside homes and businesses. But the Great Lakes Water Authority adds a protective additive to the water which provides protection for Detroiters who have lead in their homes. We are replacing more lead service lines than anyone in America. Detroit has an estimated 80,000 lead service lines 
out of 300,000 service lines based on our data and predictive mapping. This year, DWSD has again spent $100 million to date. 90 million of that was provided by the Biden administration through ARPA and placed another $30 million of DWSD bond money onto contracts that are on the street and starting this week. Last year, DWSD began to speed up the replacement and we've replaced a total of 11,335 lead service lines to date since our program began. And we will continue the pace as long as there is funding available. We are replacing lines neighborhood by neighborhood, starting with the most vulnerable areas, low income census tracts, density, dens density, density of children and seniors in homes and age of housing stock. It will take up to 10 years to replace all the lead service lines. Lead service line replacement only happens with extensive community outreach in advance of the project on each street, including door hanger packages and community meetings on the block. If you get a packet or a call, please respond so we can replace the line and move on to the next area. DWSD will provide pitcher filters only to homes where a water main or service line are being replaced on their block, which is done as a precautionary measure. There is no requirement nor no charge in water quality, no change in water quality that would necessitate filters being distributed citywide. For several years as a precautionary measure, we have been informing Detroiters to run your tap if you have lead or galvanized service lines whenever the water is sitting stagnant for several hours or days to remove any particles. We have several videos to share on our website. If you have a legitimate concern for your water quality, you can request a test by going to DetroitMI.gov slash LSLR, Lead Service Line Replacement. Again, the drinking water is safe in Detroit, and the notification letters do not any, indicate any change in that fact. With that said, I'll be, uh, I'm willing to take any questions you have. Yes. Yeah, there's no concern with the water where there's a lead service line. I've lived in this city for all my life. Uh, the home that I live in has a one and a half inch lead service line. I have a three-year-old grandson in the house. I have an 89-year-old mother-in-law in that house and several adults. And we are not concerned about the water safety at our house because we take the precautions that we ask all of our neighbors to take. When you wake up in the morning and the water has been stagnant in your home or your service line, run it for three to five minutes to get fresh water out of the line. If you have a real concern, get a pitcher with a filter that is NSP 53 certified to take lead out of the water and use that picture. There are recommendations that we make on our website that are uh, uh, precautionary measures if someone is concerned. But I am not concerned uh, about the homes that have lead service lines or galvanized service lines, and there are only a very few galvanized uh, at this point. 
Yes. Yes, and as well as uh, daycare centers uh, and, and several small businesses. So 225,000 letters. There were three different types of letters. Uh, the first letter, if, if we know that you have a galvanized line, you got a line saying we know that you have galvanized service line. Now, there, we've only seen 120 of those lines. They're very rare. We treat them as if they were lead. We believe that 225,000 households received the letter. So there are about three persons per household. If you do the math, that's, that's the number of people in those homes. And, and there could be businesses, uh, there could be uh, a McDonald's that uses uh, DWSD water uh, at their uh, soda fountain. Um, and so those businesses were notified also. However, lead service lines are most commonly found in residential homes. Uh, normally, businesses and commercial establishments have larger diameter size lines where, car where uh, lead was not used. They're either uh, most commonly copper. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's true, and what's what's raising the the angst amongst uh, our residents is the word unknown. That that's the real issue that should have been clarified. EPA will not. We understand that we only have eighty thousand lead service lines, but we sent letters to two hundred and twenty-five thousand households. Because until they're verified, until we dig up their front yard at their stop box right at the property line and look at 18 inches on both sides of that stop box and verify that it's either copper or lead, we have to classify it as unknown. And so what we do today is when we go on to a block, we'll dig up every house on that block. We'll look at both sides of the line. If the house has copper, we simply put the dirt back in and restore the lawn and any sidewalk that we repair. If the line has copper, I'm sorry, if the line has lead, we replace the line. 83% of the time right now, we're finding lead. That's because we're working in a uh, environmentally rich uh, uh, dense lead service line neighborhood. We're trying to get the biggest bang for our buck and work in areas uh, that have the most uh, lead service lines in them. Once we get to the middle of the project in five years towards the end, it'll be just the opposite. We'll get to neighborhoods that aren't quite as dense. They'll have more copper and less, and less lead. Yes. Good question. Yeah. All over the nation, all over the region, anyone that has uh, any uh, utility that services the community that has lead service lines has to send out this letter. So this is not a, just a Detroit letter. Wayne County, Oakland County, Macomb County, all over the region, all over the nation, the templates were sent out by EPA to notify. Um, your customers. And the intent of EPA's letter was to require public education notice to let you know that if you have a lead service line or we don't know what your line is, you have the option of, of taking precautions. So is EPA them or DWSD? DWSD sent the letter, but EPA sent us the template with the language that has to be in the letter. We failed to put context around it. Nothing stopped me from adding context 
to make sure that people understand that their water is safe. Yeah, so, so first of all, um, the water main is in the street. The first half of the water main is owned by the city up to the stop box. The second half that goes from the stop box inside the home and connects to the meter is owned by the homeowner. And we're going to replace the private homeowner's portion of the line at our cost on every, uh, every instance. Yeah, we don't replace half the line. We replace it all. Yeah, it is conditional on funding. Um, right now, you're right, the uh, Biden-Harris administration uh, change the lead and copper rule at the federal level to basically say every utility in the country has to remove their lines, 10% of those lines, within 10 years. And um, for Detroit, that's a $100 million endeavor. We know that we have 80,000 lines. We know that we have 20,000 that are unknown, so we assume that they are lead until we verify that they're not. So that's 100,000 lines total. Well, that's a billion dollar, 10 year project. And so we have to make sure that not only do we have the safest, cleanest water in America, but that it's affordable. This cost can't be paced, uh, passed on in rates to customers uh, and not have a serious uh, effect on their affordability and ability to pay. And so we have to balance that. So far this year, we've received more than $100 million uh, in federal or state dollars in order to get it done this year. Uh, we're putting some of DWSD's money in until the next tranche of buy infrastructure dollars become available. And hopefully next year we have applied for another $100 million dollars hopefully we'll be successful in getting that and we'll be able to keep the program going at the same pace next year any other questions or concerns is there a way to track we 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 do have a map this uh can somebody speak to the map that is on the internet that our customers can can go and access I can speak to that. Brian Peckinpah, Public Affairs Director for DWSD. Um, we have, as of October 16th, put a public map of our service line material per our data, both predictive and verified locations of service lines, whether they be copper, galvanized, or lead. So you can go to our website, DetroitMI.gov forward slash LSLR, or go to the DWSD page, and there's a link to go to that map, you can see um, our information as far as that service line location, whether it's assumed lead service or it's verified lead service for each location in the city of Detroit. Did that answer your question? Okay. All right. So, again, I just want to close with the water is safe. It's uh, in, in the last 20 years that I checked the records. Detroit has not exceeded the actionable level. We do an exceptional job of making sure that our water is some of the, the best quality in the world, in the world. And we're a leader at doing this. We have other uh, utilities that are calling us uh, for advice and help on how they can remove as many lines uh, as we've been able to do this past year. So thank you again for taking time to, to do the conference.